So today we've got a very interesting topic. It's about how to train side pressure as for every level. There is a beginner, an intermediate and an advanced. Now, some people will say to focus mostly on back pressure in the first year. Yes, it's great to focus on back pressure and develop the posting top roll, which is the safer option. But if you truly want to dedicate yourself, you need to start training the inner elbow through side pressure. So, many people say that it hurts. It hurts even myself. But now I can go for even more rep maxes because after you condition it, it will adapt, become stronger, and it will stop requiring that much effort. Now I started with very strong back pressure, which helped me a lot, and very weak side pressure. I started arm wrestling about six months ago and I started with with two kilograms side pressure with this handle just attach it to the pulley. I had it like from a very upward angle it was like this but now I do it like this. I like to do it a little bit more higher than my hand. Let's say I come like this, come closer. Stop there. I come like this to the table or low hand top row because that's how I do. And most guys are taller than me. They are not shorter. And I also like because when you train it for a, from a higher angle, See, I've got one, two, three, four, and five, five knots. And if you put it, let's say, in the third knot and train it, train it this, like this, let's say the pulley was like this, here I've got, here I've got no tension no tension, only in the starting position. But if I take it like this, it will give me pressure all throughout the lift, which is what I want. So, yeah, for every level, I, I have a handle. They are optional, but can help. So, when you're a beginner, let me take the wrist wrench off, show the weights there, there, 2.5 kilos, come here, just to demonstrate, I'm doing with like, I'm doing with 24 kilos, so yeah, let's put this, because when we also include wrist, training in our side pressure it hurts because there's more stress if we take it only like this there's no stress only on the side elbow there go further right so as a beginner just work on my best tips are I have a built-in in the pulley, built-in chain to stop here like this. And this is an overcoming isometric, which means that we maintain the weight in uh, the right place, let's say, and we fight, we try to keep it and we fight a little bit just to get it and we maintain, let's say, we stay here 20 seconds. Then after that, 
we try to progressive overload neither through more time, more set or more weight. Let's say we do now with 2.5 kilos, then we're going to zap for a 3 kilo, then we're going for 3.75, etc. And we make small increments. Now, after you go and feel no more pain, again, the pain is because you overtrain in table time, but I will not get into that. I want to help you to condition your side elbow. Now, that's how you will do. You can also experiment with training your internal rotation to work on more dynamic movement because the term that we use, side pressure, means static internal rotation. That's what it is. And train it with light weight. I don't recommend going with very heavy weight, a big mistake as a beginner, to ego lift in this kind, you can ego lift as much as you want with back pressure, lead drag, rowing motions, pull ups, whatever you want, but with the side pressure you must keep your ego behind, we must evolve, not destroy ourselves. Because we will not be able to do any more table time. So yeah, that's my advice for beginners. Now, let's say you go for 3 or 4 months and you don't feel any more pain then and you progressive overloaded. Then you can go and try a supination, side pressure, you can go for a Again, the sub is the supination is for hooking, deep hooking, and you can go for uh, top roll, pronations with side pressure. You can add a fat grip or a rotating handle, but we'll get it in the, into the intermediates. Now, as an intermediate you will want to add some kind of pressure in the wrist not two pressures one time one pressure and how i like it to be is where did i put it i cannot remember wait a little here is it good we'll come here Place it, I don't know if it fits. Maybe, good. I put a, a fat grip on a rotating handle and we will just attach it like this. Go for that. This will add. Finger containment and we go like this and we go for pump training we don't go for heavy weights we go 20 to 30 reps just like this slow and controlled don't go don't do that that's stupid so that's what you want to do when you're going from beginner to intermediate. Now, let's say you're an intermediate, just like I am. And you've been progressed all the year, and now you're pretty strong, great pronation, great supination, come closer, go there, good, great. Let's say now you're an intermediate, then I swap it. I swept this angle, handle, I don't say to do, stop using it. It's very great for isolated side pressure. But 
you want to do what you will do on the table and stimulate everything. So now let's take the wrist wrench. So now we have the side pressure and two pressures in the wrist combined at the same time. Let's wrap it to challenge our containment. Show the cat. Good. He wanted to be in the video. And now it feels much heavier. And we go like this. Moderate weights. Let's say. Pause the video. I took the cat out because it wanted to go in the bed. I don't let her. So, as I said, go with moderate weights in the 8 to 12 repetition. Now, let's take a little break from this and say what side pressure is. It's defined as internal rotation from the subscapularis in the rotator cuff chest, front delt, and triceps, and a little bit of latinus dorsi, but not that much. So, they are maintained at isometric, so the weight is trying to pull us like this, taking everything away from us. But we want to maintain it like this and go and train. So, very simple, I don't want to go into details like what it does, how much it will grow, no, in arm wrestling we don't care about muscle or looks, we care about hypertrophy because a bigger muscle means a stronger muscle, I'll tell you about it in a moment. So, now that we have done this, let's say you become at a, an advanced, let's say five to six years. Then I'll take the multi spinner again. Don't remove this form from your training. Training now, when you're an advanced, you can go with a little bit of strength training and go with one to five reps, things like that, very heavy weights. One M maxes, things like that. Because it will be very conditioned. In side pressure, the limiting factor is our side elbow, not our chest or things like that. When it becomes the limiting factor, the chest, the front that, and the subscapularis, this means that we are not doing our bench presses and things like that. Because that will be now let's wrap it. Let's say we wanted to do a top roll. Then we'll go and wrap it like this. Again, I'll put a link to the video I done last week about the multi spinner. So we'll go like this and let's say we wanted to top roll. So the weight is attacking my pronation, my cup and my no rotation and things like that and we'll just go to the side now it hurts a lot more you can go also with static movement isometric everything you can also work like this only your internal rotation but yeah that will be enough now let's say you were a hooker a deep hooker like this and go to the side again you can go with dynamic movement like this statics etc so yeah have fun don't take a lift bye and see you in the next video next video will be about the uh, Devon Art Lift
formation list specifically, how to do it, and my current weight that I use. If you like the video, give me a like, a subscribe, share it with one of your friends if you like. Again, now let's talk a little bit about my friend's YouTube channel. We, it will get suspended because a lot of haters reported us from things that we haven't done and please if you can help him give him a lot of likes if you can link will be in the description help him because he will get suspended for one or two, two months and it means a lot if we can still grow again share it if you want and hope you enjoyed it and